hello guys welcome once again in today's video we are going to learn how can you uh, open another form in your application if you are following my videos then I would rather suggest you to uh, you know uh, go over with me and if you're not then I would also suggest you to watch my previous videos so you can come up with me and join me so let's start this program and uh, let's see what happens so that is something we have got so if we put credentials in like this from our database uh, if we log in then it uh, says login successful but if we press ok nothing happens I mean uh, neither this this window closes nor another windows opens okay so that we want to do that and how can we do that we want that if the login credentials are successful then it should go to another window if it does not correct then it should remain on the same window so how can we do that we will see today so for that purpose for example I need another you know form uh, for that purpose what I will do I'll go to first uh, C sharp program here so when I'll right click on that I will go to add and uh, I'll come here like Windows form so you have to click on Windows form in order to get another form so when you click on that you will get something like this so select Windows form this already selected and uh, I will leave the name as default so you can uh, type in another name or any other name that you want okay so I'll uh, add this form in my program so this form is added in my program as by the name of form 2 so what I will do now I'll just go to form 1 login button and this is my connection and uh, this was my query for login and uh, if you come here you can see this if if login is successful then it is gonna display me uh, login successful but I wanna do an other things in this uh, if block so for that purpose I'll put curly braces on and now I'll write here simply this dot hide okay so this dot hide function it is uh, gonna do that uh, it will you know hide this uh, whatever comes uh, before it so it will hide this login successful uh, message box as well as uh, the previous window that uh, is login all right so what next we need to do we need to write here form 2 and uh, declare a variable like uh, let's say f and uh, let's say f is equal to new form or you can do like this you can simply uh, form 2 f is equal to new form 2 all right so there is a thing that you have done but you are not done yet so you need to write another line and that should be f dot show dialog all right so when you will click on that so put the curly braces on put the semicolon on and now you are done what these three lines of code will do when if I mean if the password and the you know username is correct then it is gonna hide the windows uh, the two windows that already opened up like it is gonna hide everything that is opened up all right so you have to uh, you consider this okay so after you know hiding all the windows that are open up in my case two windows are open so after hiding them it is gonna go to the form 2 all right in that way and to show that form 2 this variable needs to be showed like this f dot show dialog all right so what I am gonna do uh, I'm just gonna run this program 
so we will have something like this so if we put the credentials like from our database like let's say I put e Julie and XYZ our password so if I put here Julie and write here XYZ as password and if I log in it says that login successful but now if I, I press OK then it is gonna open this form 2 so in the next videos we are going to learn how can we create things on this form 2 form 3 form 4 and how can we go from form form 1 to form 2 and form 3 form 4 gradually that may be required in our app and how we can come back to our main page like if form 1 is our main page so we are going to learn all that stuff so don't worry about it so until then uh, goodbye